Riled Kitty. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Riled Kitty. And today we are coming back to a game. It's called Crow Country. How are you liking it so far, okay? I actually like it. This is part two. And if you haven't watched part one, go watch that before you watch this one. We'll link it above. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in the dig site now. Do you remember what we were doing? Um, not really. I tried to go back through our first part and kind of write down all the stuff we found that was... The bucket. Okay, it's full of rocks. That was pending. Pipe. Bucket. It's empty. It's a bucket. Oh, it's Full of rocks. It's a, it's a bucket. Bucket. Something inside. Ooh, I don't have a shotgun. Do I? But now you have a laser sight or something for it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. Ooh, wait, have I searched this yet? Okay. What's that little thing back there in the corner? Which one? This? That thing, yeah. There's a good amount of gas inside. Okay. Whoa. Is that gonna like melt the chain or something? Am I doing something? <laughs> I don't know. Keep doing it, maybe. Yeah, maybe not right now. All right, you can probably stop. <laughs> I bet we have to do something with that crank over there before that thing will work. We have to do both of them together. All right, let me look at my notes here, what we should do. So we got... On the ground, pipe fell missing, handle, we got gasoline. Egg shape ruby in the haunted manor. Well. Should we go search around a little bit more, see if there's any yeah. areas we haven't been to? Remember how to look at your map, RK? I think it's that. I think it's that one there, yeah. Um. So we should head up to... Did we go to that red door? No. no I, I think those are locked, the red doors. I don't know what that means. You still have to figure out that what that 2016 code means. Or 2106, I guess, really. That's just the cosmic future place, isn't it? I think so. What do we do now? Let me look back. So it said that the cr the crank for the um, the crank handles in the safe in the southeast utility corridor. I feel like we've got to do something with this. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, but that's it's got something to do with something too. Go to your map one more time. Are there any other um, are there any other doors that are yellow? So there's a fairy pond door. I don't think we can get to that. And there's a bunch of gray doors down there. Maybe we go down and check those gray doors. Which gray doors? Um, like go back. Do you know where like that crow in the little house is? Okay, sure. Go back into that area quick. So 
What's that sound? Some health to pick up. Yeah. And a box to shoot. Oh god, look at there's like some new... I saw some little guy dancing. He looked like a skeleton or something. Where? Over that way. <laughs> Better get ready to shoot him. Alright, so maybe check these doors, because I don't know if we checked them all the first time. These are, I think, the gray doors. So, the, so hopefully once we check them, they'll show up either, like, red locked or... Okay, that's like gift shop. Oh, bronze key. There we hey. go. Train Something. room. Got a train on it. Train. Hmm. Alright, what's this now? A little train gate. Earl of Edgecombe, a fine steam engine beautifully combining the Arabella and Bernadette design styles. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Go check the other one now. Alright, I'm gonna write this down. Uh, a handsome steam steam engine stylishly combining the Arbel and Delilah design styles. Um And it goes back that way. Oh, I can actually walk over here. It was Arabella Bernadette Arabella Delilah? Yeah. What was this save? Oh, nice. Just save in either. You can save over the other slots too. Um. Are there any more notes for us to read? Nope, oh, what's here. that? Tallman's records, May 23rd, 1988. The intruders contained in the lab. Uh oh, the boss is calling him the guest. I told him that was in poor taste, but it stuck. Offered guests food and water. He took no notice of either. I can't begin to describe what's wrong with him. So this is the guy that broke in that he was talking about in the first part. Yeah. Boss doesn't want to call an ambulance. He doesn't want to call anyone. I suggest we shut down all root excavation, just until we work out what happened. Boss says we can't shut down just yet, so the machines are back on. I have a bad feeling. I think we're about to make things worse. Another curtain. It's a computer. There's a slot for a disc. Okay, we don't have a disc yet, I guess. Something more to find. The computer system is in both the railway room and the dungeon now need security disk to access. Yes, I know it's inconvenient. These are new regulations. So let me write that down. So, um, computer room. So disk is for the dungeon and train room. Okay. What else can we look at? It's a grenade. grenade. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we got our first grenade. Now, is that a little sign right there, too? Yeah, what's that say? Orion's Odyssey, our grandest steam engine, elegantly combining all four designs. During the war, it was used by the military to carry artillery. Did it say? Oh, hang on. Okay. There's Tallman. The Trailblazer. Anything else in here? We think that's everything. Oh. Natalie Crow, Autumn's Child. Alright, so we know we have to bring a disc back. Oh yeah, what's that? Oh. Okay, I think this one's good. We can leave, yeah. Well, there's something you can shoot. Another grenade. And a box. Sweet, large med kit. I'll take it. And you can't like crawl in those tunnels, right? Oh yeah, what's this? Oh, collection of game tips. Yeah, you can skip that. 
So it seems like in the save rooms, you can go back and like look at all your notes, basically. So. All right, so train room is another save area. How many doors we got left to check? Just that one. The bathroom. Ooh. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> spooky bathroom. Oh god. Take him out, RK. Oh god. Keep shooting. <laughs> As he gets closer, keep shooting because you're str you're strong. Oh god, you're gonna die. <laughs> keep shooting. Reload. <laughs> Remember how? So fast. Slow down. Great bumper. Get away from me. How do you aim? Right bumper. There you go. So how do you equip health? Like where's your inventory? Um, it's I think it's that button, right? And then yeah, use at least the mini one, yeah. I'd use a small one. Yeah, I think you're good now. You could use maybe two if you wanted, but Alright, keep shooting this guy as he's walking towards you. Don't don't run away. Oopsie. Stop. <laughs> it's so hard to aim in this game. You'll get it. No, I think I'm just bad at it. Okay. You'll get it eventually. Alright, aim right now. Okay, walk towards him. I, I guess you have I to unaim. I can't aim while I'm walking. I know, just walk in that direction. <laughs> there you go. That did the trick. I'd reload again now, so you're like guns full. You're actually out of bullets, so that's good. Blocked by a pile of old bones. What is the toilet? Something in the toilet. I don't need to go right now. Go back to that toilet one more time. Why? There's nothing to do with it. Can you? I can't do anything okay. with it. What's this? Beyond Magazine. Strange sighting at abandoned theme park. Aspiring paranormal photographer Arthur Mole sent in a Polaroid he took while exploring the abandoned amusement park Crow Country. Could this thing possibly be real? Or is it just another hoax? Here at Beyond Magazine, we're not convinced. Try a little harder next time, Arthur. <laughs> it looks real to me. I mean, blood toilet. You check the blood toilet. I was about to do. It smells so bad. Well, so what I was gonna ask you about the um, that bones toilet. Um, There's nothing I can use with it right now. But it is. It did. It it did pop up. It did pop up that you could use something with it. Uh, yes, but I don't have okay. anything. All right, I'm just gonna make a note then. Bathroom. Toilet blocked by bones. Agent Mara Forest saves the day <laughs> once again. <laughs> nice. Many machines and trash cans may provide you the supplies for your ammo. You also get hanging on from your car. Nice. So she also aims the direction you're like your uh your like girl's pointing, right? Or is it the direction the camera's pointing? So if you like spin now her and then your camera spins too. Okay, I gotcha. Ooh, Ooh the heck is that? UFO tour. Someone lose it? Maybe Arthur. All right, so we're good here. Anything else on you? Any other thing on your map that's gray? 
that we should check. Get there, park entrance. Nothing in the. There's oh, there's a couple right other there, doors, so. yeah. This one's in the gift shop. Oh, wait. It's up there. That further. might be another entrance to the gift shop. Yeah, be careful. I saw some creepy guys. Alright, that silver. one needs a silver key. Oh my god, that was a guy I saw. <laughs> Giant skeleton man. I don't think our handgun ammo is going to be too effective against him. What is that? Gasoline again? This oh, that looks interesting. Fortune telling crow. Yeah. The crank handle's locked. Oh, this is like hints. It's locked in a safe. Is that it? That's all he says. Alright. What is that? If you turn around again, okay. Um, what is that little hole right there? That's only metal panel. There's a hole for something. Okay. Can you uh can you hit your map one more time too? What's this area called? Okay, Crow Country. There's one more door that I was gonna go check on. Okay. Too. Hey bud. Yeah, yeah, come here. Come here. One, 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 yeah. Yeah, come on. Come on, buddy. You ever chase ya? <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, you're gonna try to do the the bomb barrel on him? Yep, yep, oh yeah, that's yep. a good idea. He's very he's so slow. Oh he already passed. It's okay. Oh here's another one, yeah. Ooh, that's good. This actually looks super promising. This gate. Where you go? That hurt him, I think. <laughs> he's still alive somehow. He flinched. He's still alive though. Ooh, haunted. Ooh, okay, hilltop. haunted hilltops. Alright, let me go back. So this is where the crank the is, right? Oh, the, the egg ruby. Egg so the ruby. Crank. Ooh, okay. Give me things. Wait for it. Nothing. Oh yeah, egg-shaped rubies in the haunted manor. Who's that point? That barrel. Reload. Shoot it. Shoot the barrel. No. Barrel. There you go. Okay, I need to read this side. Oh, the back. <laughs> he's he's twitching. The dungeon Witchwood haunted man. Okay, Witchwood. There was something too. So Witchwood, or Witchwood's that way. The dungeon is this way, so that's where we need the- that's where we get the security thing. Yeah, I noted the Ocean Kingdom Tridents in the Witchwood. Which area is this again? The dungeon. Okay. That's where the thing is. The deadly mermaid imprisoned for crimes against nature. <gasps> oh, the- Wait, what'd you say is in the dungeon? The disc? No, no, like, it was like something about the dungeon. Yeah, there's that computer. And maybe we'll find the disc in here. The big bad wolf in prison for crimes against nature. We had a complaint from a parent about the depiction of alcohol in the mermaid cage. Of all the things to complain about, I told her it's not an alcohol bottle, it's a bottle of highly corrosive acid. <laughs> it seemed to placate her. Well, we want that, I think, right? It sounds like it's going to come in handy. Highly corrosive acid. Up there. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe there's a, maybe that computer opens it, maybe? We can find the disc. The violent cyclops in prison for crimes against nature. See health in there too. 
I wonder if the computer opens the cell doors. Probably does. The deceptive serpent. Well, I guess start searching buckets and everything. See if we can find. Ooh. The Atlantic Globe, South American gold mine linked to local landowner. Parts have emerged detailing the activities of a recently received Brazilian gold mine. Apparently the site near the north coast of the state of Para is currently operating as one of the most profitable gold mines in America, selling at least two major international companies. But why, you ask, are we reporting this in the Atlanta Globe? Hey. Well, it's recently surfaced that the gold mine in question is actually owned by local landowner and businessman Edward Crow. Most viewers probably only know him as the eponymous owner of the Crow Country Theme Park. Here in Atlanta, and indeed, it seems there has been some effort to cover up Mr. Crow's connection to this profitable gold mine. Oh, can you go back in it one more time? I just want to see that last line. Um, sorry, just in case there's any sort of a clue in there. Well, I was just in the mirrors. Okay. Iron Maiden. <laughs> What's inside? The disc? There's something in there. Oh god. Are you dead? Wait, what the heck just happened? <laughs> that was interesting. So I wonder if this is like the southeast utility corner though, not or corridor now. Maybe. This little door. There's nothing. Big shape ruby in the haunted manor. Magnum. Magnum ammo. We gotta find a magnum now too, apparently. The power switch for the four periphery elevators is in Tolman's office. Yes, that's the other side of the park. Yes, that means you're in the wrong place. Hold on. Or you look at that one more time. Power switch. Okay. Alright, we're good. So we have to leave for now. Nothing else you can do in here? I don't think so, no. It doesn't show up on the map, right? Like you don't see anything on the map. Wait, did that say there's a metal handle? Uh, go up to that little handle right there. Which handle? Can you use it? Yeah, turn it. Nothing. Are you controlling that? <laughs> All right, you're good. All right, that gives me an idea, though. Um, I wonder if there's something at some point we find and like connect to that thing. Maybe. So, like pull the doors off the cages or something. Who's that? Uh, what are you doing? It's Julie, trying to get through this door. Oh, right. Is it locked? Obviously. Is there another way around? It's possible. Right, I'll go have a look. Who is this? I don't know. <laughs> Mara doesn't seem at all like worried that there's like another person here. Please be careful on the Haunted Manor bookcases. Read the book titles carefully. In fact, it's easier if you just don't touch them. I don't even know where we went. Hey, Skeleton Man. Oh, we're back. I went the wrong way. I'm sorry. This is good because we can see the sign again, right? Yeah. Try to check the sign. Which Okay, so that's her. Check check that cigarette machine. Oh, actually, I haven't checked the tra trash can. Oh, sweet. Hopefully it gives us some handgun ammo. There we go. That's good. Needed that. Old cigarette machine. <laughs> Again. 
Entrance is blocked. It's smiling at me, gross. Couldn't move him. Oh, there's a map right there. In that little case. Oh, there is. Sweet. That's great. Now I'll be able to see where we are. I'd shoot those two boxes too, since you got a little ammo now. So maybe you'll get you'll get even more. Grenade. <laughs> Grenade might be good against skeleton boy. And an ammo. Nice. The crypt. you're doing maintenance in the haunted manor or trying to access ocean kingdom you need the crank handle it's locked in the safe in the south southeast utility corridor the code for the safe is something to do with the crypt i think chicken say? Oh, actually, hold on. There we go. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. He gave you the code to get into the ring the bell. So this must be the haunted manor now, right? Obviously a puzzle. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I'd, I'd taken a note. It said, you know how it said about the Haunted Manor books? Like, oh, read the titles. I bet that's yes. the notes. Swift and sudden end if I be slain. Take it. Hold it. Oh my god, are you dead? No! <laughs> What the heck? Okay, I guess that's why you that's need to... That's bad. <laughs> all right, I guess we're going all the way back to the railway. That's not good at all. Well, I guess we won't, won't be pulling that again, right? Yeah, get that handgun ammo. <laughs> Don't do that. Mean. So, is there anything that I actually need in there? Mm, don't remember. Get that map, though, in that case, for sure, yeah. So, we have that. Yeah, let's go back in the haunted manor. I think he was there before you blew him up. Did? Yeah. Oh, I did. All right. And I'll do it again. You sure did. Oh, my 
I heard. You're trying to figure out the health. Book on the bookshelf. That's bad. Fade. Okay, that's probably the key. Where's this? Let's find this phone. So. It's right here. Hello. <laughs> you came back. Who is this? I'll admit I'm glad to see you up and about. Oh, the tenacity of youth. So that one side said something about. Fade? Oh wait, Melody of the Dead. Read that one again. It says Harmony will fade. So that's F-A-D-E could be the code. <laughs> Is a vampire sleeping inside? Interesting. Oh, what if he is? Oh, it's just a trick. The vampire setup. It's kind of cute, though. Don't really want to push the bookies. Song in a cage. Um, Adra Melek, the Undying, blamed for many deaths between ten twenty and. What did it say? I refuse to do what? Put your hand in the mouth. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Clock face. So it says the time up there. There's like a bunch of clocks in here. There are, you're right. There's a hole in the middle of the clock face. I'm supposed to say there's like a ghost standing right there with the blood. Read that note. Oh yeah, you're right. Clocks need regular winding, but please don't attempt it without the correct tool. What is the correct tool? All right, well, I get, why not um, maybe type in F-A-D-E on the piano and see what happens? I don't know. Just a guess. Oh. I must open the paintings, I guess. A box of shotgun shells. What's the next one? dead. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's like a door. Okay, I'll do the other ones first. Ooh, it is a ghost. Spooky. Mushroom boy? Use my mushroom magic to grant you. Tell me what is your wish? Uh, you want to improve the range of your flamethrower? I don't have a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do we have a flamethrower yet? Yeah, I don't. That's mean. Last one that I have to do again. Is that it? I think you're good. It was the one in the middle, right? That opened the door. Oh, yeah. Yay. 
I see you grenade that guy. Do X. Aim at him and then do X. I'll just come back quick because he got way too close. <laughs> <laughs> Those are helpful. Uh, you should reload too, in case we have to do another zombie dude coming up. Watch out for small explosives lying on the ground. The rig to blow up when touch. Keep a keen eye. Some of them look. Things we want to pick up. Hmm. The heck was that? E Pike Park Operations. Oh, God, he's dead. I guess he shot himself. Should I call the police? I am the police. <laughs> There's yeah. a handgun lying next to him. I better not touch it. I think you should pick it up and then you can dual wield. That'd be cool. The following doors are now locked electronically. Dungeon. Mer okay, yes. We Cryptophilia. They can be only be opened by the dungeon's computer terminal. Okay, we knew that. There's a videotape in the slot. Who's that? This is a message from Edward Crow from Douglas for Edward Crow from Douglas Pike. Edward, we've been friends for over 30 years. You entrusted me with the running of your theme park, a task I've rel relished. You've always showed me kindness and always paid me well for my work. However, I can no longer remain silent. Edward Crow, your crimes have not gone unnoticed, nor will your sins go unpunished. As for Elaine Marshall, I hope she never forgives us, for none of us deserve this. Goodbye. Huh. I wonder if there's a disc in this room. Maybe. Edward had his office door electrified, decently high voltage too. I turned off all the mains powers, but the door was still electrified, so I think he must have hooked it up to a generator somewhere in the underground level. Okay. Model of Crow Country Park. Looks like there are four areas, a few smaller sections. Some ammo. It's good, good. Anything else on that other side there? You can kind of spin the camera around. Like, is that... Can you open those drawers there? Edward has pulled all the funding from Cosmic Future and we've halted construction. He said it was just a temporary delay, but I can tell what he's why, when he's lying. Something is seriously wrong with Edward. He looks sick, but at the same time, there's a kind of manic energy in his eyes. I asked Talman about it, but he gave me the silent treatment, so whatever it is, I think they're in it together. I tried to spy on Edward and Talman during the meeting. It sounded like they were trying to talk to someone, a third person wasn't talking back but they were talking like how you would talk to a baby or young child speaking slowly using simple language what is going on and that okay that note we already looked at right that's on the table mm -hmm. okay
strong bleach. There's like a lever behind you too, on the wall. I see a bunch of stuff back here. <laughs> Was that that electrified door? Hmm. So this is where Edward's office is, huh? Crow, move the electric battery charger to the southeast underground level. I know that means you won't have access to any more. Probably shouldn't go near this. This is the lady from the painting, right? Maybe. Looks like her. Are you all right, ma'am? Ugh. My head. I threw up. Are you okay? Hey, it's alright, don't worry about it. Can I ask, did something happen to you? It only grazed me. I thought I'd be fine. I don't even know what it was. My head's pounding, my stomach is... Ah, oh, right. You were attacked. I feel dizzy. Give her antidote. I have something that might make you feel better, at least for a little while. You should take this. Thank you. I think that actually helped. Oh, I'm so rude. What's your name? I'm Mara. Thanks, Mara. I'm Natalie. Natalie Crow. She was the one from the painting. What are you doing here? I'm actually looking for your father, for Edward Crow. What on earth do you want with father? You filed a missing persons report, didn't you? Yes, I did. You're who they sent? Yeah, I'm Agent Mara Forrest. But you're so... What? What about the man I spoke to on the phone? Detective Harrison something. Detective Harrison James. He, uh, he couldn't make it. Problem with the car. So they sent you instead? Yup. This is your father's office? He's not in there. I've been out here for hours and I haven't heard a sound. Be that as it may, I'd still like to take a look inside. Do you know how to get in? That's going to be difficult. You'll need the key. It's a big fancy gold one. Gold key. Got it. You'll have to turn off the electrified door handle. How do I do that? No idea. It wasn't electrified the last time I was here. Father must have only recently had it installed. Why? What's he hiding in there? Good question. Can you read that sign right there one more time? It said Southeast Underground Level. Okay. Just wanted to note that. Alarm triggered 2.15 a.m. Two more guests appeared in the pool room. This time I made sure the cameras were running so we had proof they came out of the pool. They're worse than the first broken wrong shape falling apart. These are the zombies maybe? I feel. Boss says we won't be able to move them like we did the first guest. He spent 23 minutes trying to talk to him and he shot them both. Hmm, that's nice. I guess in this place. <laughs> the grenades are good. Yeah. Alright, there's definitely some stuff in there we didn't look at. Um but Pickle? Oh, it's the fairy. She's facing the other way. It's like a pickle. <laughs> Where are we now? I guess we're moving the curtain. Pull it. Interesting.
Turns on the sprinklers. There's like a little robot guy out in the audience too. <laughs> Read that note on the wall, I bet that has something to do with the sprinklers. Can someone from Mains please varnish the Ocean Kingdom storage room door, or else just replace the door entirely? It's made from really old wood and it's starting to crumble. It's not exactly fire safe. Hmm. That seems like a clue. Electric panel. Ooh, nice. Oh god, it's... well, it's dead. So that's all I can say. Phone's ringing again. Hello? Listen. I had no idea what the roots were for. How could I have known? What roots? What are you talking about? There are seven in total. I cut them down, cut them open. You cut them open? What? All but one. We left one intact for posterity, we thought. What a farce. Who is that? I think that's Mr. Crow. Maybe. Can you call? What is that thing? Oh my god. That does not look like something you want to mess with. Anything else we can check down here? Oh god, they're fast. So they like run a couple steps and then... <laughs> you talk to the fairy? Hello, thank you for helping. I've never... What's to say? I never have found that bronze key without you. Oh, it's the same fairy. From earlier. Nice. Oh, this is the theater. Pull the walking stick out. <laughs> Read that note on the wall, too. I noticed the Seven Seas Mermaids use the same kind of battery as the Giant Crow. Oh! Okay, so Giant Crow needs a battery. Not a great idea. Those kind of batteries aren't waterproof. The mermaids are going to need constant maintenance. Okay, so we need to get... So the Crow needs a battery. Okay, so battery for Crow or for Crow from mermaids. Okay. Good to know. So RK, since this is the theater exit, actually maybe run back in there and shoot that last crate. Um, let's uh, let's go save and be done with part two. Okay. Made some good progress. Turn around. Shoot that last crate. Anything? Nothing. Well, what's this? Ooh. It's full of water. Alright, do you know how to get back? Yeah, I do. I to think. the save room? Should be that one at the fireplace. Oh, hey, that's open now. Is that where we just came from? No, we just came from this. What the heck? The theater doors, so. Interesting. We'll have to go through yeah, that. Yeah, we'll go through the mushroom time, mushroom mode next, next time. time. Mushroom mouth is open, huh? Yep. Yeah, I'd say just save over slot one for that first one, yeah. All right. Crow Country Part 2, making Yay. some good progress. Nice work, RK. Well, if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, share with friends, leave us a comment. Most importantly, don't forget to come back soon for Part 3. 
But until then, I'm Hag Baby. I'm Riled Kitty. You're watching? Riled Kitty. We'll catch y'all soon something new. Have an amazing day. Bye. Bye.